bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Mark Curtis. You know, it is so important that we preserve the history of our communities, and that's what we're talking about today, a great little place that I've uh, been to many times and love, uh, the Museum of the San Ramon Valley. I want to welcome Jerry Warren, who is one of the board members. Good to see you, Jerry. Thanks, Mark. It is hard to believe we are celebrating the 10th anniversary of... Uh, that little railroad station that stands at the corner of Prospect and Railroad Avenue in downtown Danville. It, it didn't used to stand there. It used right. to sit down about 600 feet farther south where there's a supermarket now, and they moved it, and that's what we're celebrating. Well, that's great. I mean, it, rather than having it torn down, just to move it across the parking lot means we've preserved it, and that's what we're talking right. about. Um, why is it important to have a museum of the San Ramon Valley so especially our young kids can learn the history of the valley? I think a couple of reasons. One, we share the culture and that history, which gives a perspective of why people live there. And we spend an awful lot of time working with the kids in the San Ramon Valley Unified School District. We have classes that, in the third grade, the kids come out to our Tassajara one-room school out on Finley right. Road, and the third graders love that, spend a day out there. And the fourth graders come in as part of their study of, a, of California history and learn about Indian culture. And they get to pound acorns and and play Indian games. It's really a great experience for the kids. It really is fascinating and that's how I got introduced to it because I had to go to the museum with my kids for school field trips. And I remember once there was an exhibit about the the uh, construction of I-680 and the pictures of it before and after. I mean it was fascinating because of course 680 once used to dead end at Sycamore Valley Road and it went no further. Well before that Danville and the whole San Ramon Valley was agriculture. It was very rural. Yes. When, but when the freeway opened up, then all these people moved in and now we're all trying to understand what, what brought us all here. Why do people enjoy living in this valley well, so much? And it's a fascinating place. It's a growing place and that's why, because right. people love it so much. So the 10th anniversary is coming up. Um, there's actually a celebration on Sunday, June 7th. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, we're inviting all of our museum partners to come in and share with us some retrospective history exhibits. We're going to ha have the one-room school people come out and play the, the can race the kids do as part of their recess uh, activities. And we're going to have some of the kids pound the acorns again to bring back their memories of going through the Indian Life program. And we're going to have a, are you ready for this? We're going to bring back the hayride from last year's 150th anniversary celebration. Right, I'm there for that. And a children's train. Okay. And all sorts of activities. Now, we want to mention it's at the museum in the, the big parking lot there. It's Sunday, June 7th from noon to 5 p.m. Noon to 5. And that's a terrific area. People may be familiar with it because that's where the farmer's market is in downtown Danville on, uh, on Saturday afternoons and on Thursday nights. So that's, there's going to be plenty of parking and room to, to get plenty around. Plenty of parking, it. restaurants all around for eating, and, and we'll have dryers giving away ice cream. So there'll be all sorts Can't of things. Can't be that if nothing else come for the ice cream. Uh, but you, let's talk about the exhibits. Currently you have an exhibit that's a tribute to artists and art in the San Ramon Valley. And how long will that go on and then what it, comes it's next? It's going to run through May. In, in May we're going to have the art from the high school kids that, that don't have a place to show their art yeah. anyplace. So we're going to show that in, in May. And then in June we switch over to the 10th anniversary celebration and model trains in, through July. Love after that. that. That's always popular because it is an old train depot and it ran along what's now the Iron Horse Trail. And of course next year Abraham Lincoln is Abraham a big Lincoln. exhibit. We're do Abraham Lincoln self-made in America. It'll be in April 2010. It's going to be a we're the only museum in the area that's doing it. It's going to be a great exhibit. Well, be, there's a lot of interest in Lincoln because our current president, right. Barack Obama, also comes from the state of Illinois, and there are, are a lot of parallels, and there's a lot of history between the two. So uh, that'll be interesting, and we look forward to that. We want to mention your website, too. It's www.museumsrv.org, and I assume you're always looking for donors and volunteers as well. We are always well. looking. And the phone number is... Uh, 837-3750, so it's real easy to call. Very good. And let's remind folks again, this uh, 10th anniversary celebration is at the Museum of the San Ramon Valley. It's June 7th from noon to 5 p.m. Come on out and join us. It's going to be a lot of fun. Jerry Warren, one of the board members of the Museum of the San Ramon Valley, thanks for being with us. Thank you. Good to see you, Jerry. Again, the website is museumsrv.org. I'm Mark Curtis for Comcast Newsmakers. Thank you for joining us.